Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Well, looks like I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You a survived the G2 attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the humans would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know what? if that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. How can you help me? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What a nice guy. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means thank a lot to me. You. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, <laughs> you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. What a nice guy. I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait. Not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Congrats on your purchase. What a fucking cookie. Yeah, I do want a cookie, little fuck. Hey, look at me. I'm the guy who sells stuff. I'm an illegal concessions guy. I'm oh, it's a goop. Illegal stuff over here. Illegal it's the... And I sell vials Goob's brother. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked What? Out. You want to come or what? Want any. You sell alien cum. For real? Alien cum? What's wrong with you? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum. And we're just gonna what? have to live with that knowledge together now. I'm not mad, I'm just curious. Do we really look like your typical customers? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no what the hell? to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, <laughs> politicians. Everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So, what, what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? Yes. I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa! <laughs> You want some alien cum? I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your a gallon of alien cum, a jar of alien cum that you intentionally purchase. It's heavier than you think. You gotta carry this around everywhere now. It's about me. Say stand. All right. 
right, partner. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Whoops. Uh, maybe let's try that again. Oh, I have my shit disabled. That's right. All right, it should work now. Holy shit, this rules! Oh man. It seemed like the right thing to do. I don't know. We would have shot you if you didn't. It was the right thing to do. Oh, check out that landing! God damn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and- I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. <laughs> Been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fuck more aliens than your brain could comprehend. And oh my I god. Don't touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. We my boyfriend figure. is so fucking hot, though, right? <laughs> He's ugly. You I already know it. Met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here while you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself. Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good <laughs> thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. <laughs> Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically every alien <laughs> in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look. We've spent all this time living together. I... I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Leslie. <laughs> Come on. Tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me <laughs> on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. <laughs> I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. <laughs> She's gonna get him pregnant? Right? mutant kids running around this house. Me. Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. <laughs> not the way this species works. <laughs> get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweed to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's Grimble Dick. Job. And yes... Before you ask, he's got both his legs. <laughs> it's not a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. You can date whoever you want, sweetie. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. <laughs> you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har har har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, hey. go ahead if you want to get started on those. Hell yeah. We're just going for the one that looks the coolest. What the hell? Oh yeah, we're sure fighting Dr. Giblets. <laughs> G3 head of R&D, responsible for developing warp-based technology. He's possibly the brightest mind amongst the G3 ranks. However, he's a bit of a hermit, so he generally remains off the grid, rarely leaving his own warp-based laboratory. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. 
a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll <laughs> appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. And Jill came tumbling after. Hey there, Pat. It's me, Sudo again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. <laughs> yeah, not like we need it. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not going to let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> not bad. This is the nastiest freaking thing I've ever seen. Ew. Look at that butthole. I mean, I'm telling you to be careful, but I guess I kind of care about you now, so see me. Aw, Gene. Have you have you ever eaten your own poop? No. You know, it, it gets hard. It gets tough down here in the slums. That's where sometimes you gotta just eat. You gotta do it. I mean, I don't have to. I have food usually, but I still. I mean, I still eat poop every once in a while. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking for this new oh, high yeah, on hey, life hey, yeah. It shouldn't uh, be too hard. I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Oh great, we're getting fucking sniped! Oh great, there's more of them! Alright, my glove shot! <laughs> it's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me! Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and... Just give up Nice on... day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. <laughs> Jesus, enough with all these fucking weirdos hassling us. Fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the fuck were they on about? Yikes, we got a trample victim. Hey, dead nerd trample Yo. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutz. Got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. That's fucked. He's only got one eye, no. I know you're thinking it, so I'm just gonna say it. We gotta loot that dead guy's corpse, get his mag boots, and climb out of here. Oh god. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Why are you looking at me, <laughs> that bounty hunter? He's dead. He's not using them anymore. We hey, need... Hey, sick moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. Using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you. Let's 
What's the side? Fuck, we pulling rabbits out of fucking hats and all clothes. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blend, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast him to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Got it. That's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. Vamoose, you goose. Fuck yeah! Let's go kill Dr. Giblets! You're doing great work. I said buzz off. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. Help! I, I, I'm dying! I'm dying! Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, oh. Holy shit, dude. You're fucked. What happened? <laughs> the G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. Then it was oh Dr. Giblet's base. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me. Oh, Looks like Ted Loki. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. No, come on. You're not dead yet. We're still here with you. You'll be fine. No, no. It's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just just don't leave. Okay, and I feel it. Here I go. Rest in peace, fucko. <laughs> more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. He better be there. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Oh, really? Is that what we're supposed to do? What the fuck is that? Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High On Life store. All well, little you know, dudes. we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Fuck it. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I He's trying to make him look like Bender here. What the fuck's going on? Must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than He hurt himself. <laughs> That's Dr. Giblets. No right? shot. No shot. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest no one. shot. He just killed himself. Let me add him. No fucking shot. No shot. What the fuck are you waiting for? The guy died. So let me carve him up already. In his Buzz Lightyear outfit. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Oh, no, 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 no! Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means... 
Please, you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come, and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Okay, shit yes. We do get to fight. Oh, you. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here, falling prey to my glorious science you're ever so jealous of. That's right, Crimothy. I know it was you. For what? The inheritance? My land? I'm just a plain old space edifice complex. No matter. Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my first... He thought his own son killed him. You've been here from the start. Garmantuous's favorite right hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. You wanted them all for yourself. Could be told. I always was scared. Oh, this is toxic. I'm not even sure I can defeat you. But I have to try. Fuck you. Be tough. It's one thing to serve in the G3, but 
We can get back out through the trap door. You there, bounty hunter? Oh no! Is that Garmatuas? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Save your <laughs> breath, all that yipping and yapping. We're about to put foot bounty to air. Hunter. We're coming for you! I've got the two most important people in your life. And I'm going to okay. kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. You're just straight evil. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you Wait, die. Okay, my sister and my and it's Jimmy? going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Well, looks like we're in it. No turning hurt. back now. I just wanted to say, you know, to, today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. No, my detective mode. Good riddance. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be. Uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but. Uh... Yeah, I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours. And <laughs> We'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of friendalos. Oh, that's uh -oh. her boyfriend? Hey, I I'm Twig. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Twig, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your <laughs> sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. <laughs> and leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Twig, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a joke? Oh, Lord. Me to fuck? 
Come on, tell him to leave. Oh, come on. You shouldn't even get to decide. It's my house, too, you know? Fuck all of you. Aww. Not you, Tweed. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! <laughs> do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. Oh, Lord. Lord. You gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, <laughs> your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Yeah, no <laughs> shit! I'm pathetic! That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit talking from a teenage oh, girl. Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's <laughs> really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's going to live here? <laughs> If you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned. <laughs> you barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Good. Yes, sir. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Oh, that's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To, <laughs> to, to kiss. <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. And Jill came tumbling after. Carrying Jill with